Hi everyone. Let's go ahead and get started with the website QA chatbot. Everyone has been talking about the OpenAI agent builder and everyone has been showing only the workflow part. But in this particular lesson, I'm going to show you how actually you can integrate this particular workflow with your actual site. So I'll be showing you here a live demo how you can integrate this website QA chatbot with your website. So currently I have here a website kgptalkie.com. So this is a website which I own. You must have your own website, otherwise, it is not possible to integrate it. Obviously, you cannot integrate with someone else's website. So I'll be integrating this in our website. So, first of all, we have to design our workflow here, and I hope that you have designed your workflow here. So this workflow works like this user query comes here guardrail you know guardrail is there once query passes this guardrail then it goes to the q a agent in the q a agent i have here instruction all these instruction as uh, as usual instructions and thereafter you have a tool here so in this tool what i have done here i have connected my vector store in the vector store i have uploaded all the document which is available at my website here at the kgptalkie.com so all the readme file here basically markdown file of this website has been uploaded on the vector store and all the sample data if you want to have you can come to my repository lakshmi merit and in the lakshmi merit there is a repository named as the open ai agent builder in the open ai agent builder you will be having here q and a chatbot inside this q and a chatbot you will be having the sample data so all these readme file which you see here basically this markdown file all these markdown file i have uploaded here at the at the vector store all right now i hope that you know how to design your workflow let's go ahead and see how you can publish this so basically once you make any any modification here then you will see here a publish or the deployment all right so once you publish this i have already published it that is why i can see here the production one Let's go ahead and quickly preview this. So I'm going to ask here a question that how to become good ML engineer. Let's go ahead and see. All right. As you see here that the guardrail has been uh, successfully cleared and now it is searching from our, uh, you know, the agent uh, from our vector database. And then finally, it is giving the result here. While it is giving the result, it is also giving all the references. So it says that from where it has got all these information. So these information I have published at my website. All right. Similarly, you can integrate your uh, any kind of workflow with the website. I have shown so many type of the workflow how you can integrate like uh, product recommendation, uh, e-commerce uh, agent support system or customer support system, all this. So I have prepared there a Udemy course as well. You can come at the Udemy. You can find out the master OpenAI agent builder deploy chatbot to your website. So here I have covered a step by step tutorials. All right, let's come back here. As you see, it is working perfectly fine. There is no issue with this. Then let's go ahead and close this. Thereafter, you need to come here at the code part. You will get the workflow ID. So this is going to be the pretty much simple. And here is the version ID that you do not need. All right. So this is what we need. Other than this, we also need the API key from the OpenAI. So these are the two things only we need here. Thereafter, you need to come here at Lakshmi Merit OpenAI Chat Kit Starter App V1. So this particular app I have copied from the OpenAI itself. The reason of copying this here is that here at the time of making this video, I have actually freezed this repository here. Thereafter, you can come here and then you can start this repository. Then you can create a fork basically. In fact, you must create a fork of this repository. It is needed here. Later on, once we deploy this project on the server, then you have to have this particular repository in your repo itself. So you must fork it. Once you fork it, you are going to have this repository in your repo as well. Thereafter, you need to come here at Versal. So Versal is a free deployment, uh, you know, the tool. So basically, it is a remote server where we can deploy our site. You have to sign up at the Versal. Once you are signed up here, Versal, thereafter, you will be getting here an option to connect your GitHub repository. You must connect your GitHub repository with the Versal. Once you connect your GitHub repository, then you would be able to see here all the list of the all the list of the repositories here all right you might be having here an option to integrate or the deploy 
all right let me just quickly show you how the option you should be here getting actually i'm just trying to find out where is that one let's go ahead and check here at the versal so basically you have to visit this one versal.com forward slash new thereafter you will be seeing here option import git repository all right so you have to select the github repository the github repository which we have just forked all right so this the name of this repo should be coming in your github repository i have connected this versal with my git thereafter as you search here chat kit so i'm going to get this particular application here once you get this application then we are going to import this into the versal all right then what you have to do here you have to come here environment variable this is very important always remember so in this environment variable we have to provide some environment variables all right so what are the environment variable you need to provide you need to come here at env.example as you click on here you will be seeing openai api key and the public chat kit id here so you need to come here just paste this here openai api key and the other one we also need to get here that is the workflow id so the other one is workflow id for the openai api key we need to come here at api key create quickly one api key make sure that you select the same project where you have built your uh, workflow i'm just going to create here api key quickly and thereafter you just simply copy it and then you come to the versal and then simply you paste your api key thereafter we need to provide here the chat kit workflow id so this same workflow id we are going to copy from here and then come back and then we provide our workflow id that's all we have to do here and now we can deploy our project here that's all you have to do this is how you can deploy your project at the versal once your chatbot is deployed here at the versal then it is going to give us here a deployment a deployment id or you can see that the deployment url all right now it has given here a congratulations i have deployed it successfully as you come here let's go ahead and click on the continue at the dashboard thereafter you will see here a deployment and the domain so this is the domain which we need to copy all right and thereafter if you open this domain here you will see that it will not open actually and the reason it will not open here is because we have to whitelist this seems like it has opened but still it will go away immediately all right so what we have to do you have to come here and thereafter you need to go in the security inside the security you will be getting there the domain all right the domain allow list you need to click on the add domain and then simply generate the key all right just done it and thereafter if you repress it you should be able to your you should be able to see your chatbot here all right so we have added that in the allow list seems like it is not allowing here still but don't worry about that it will allow all right perfect as you can see here it has allowed here now you can see your chatbot here perfect you can chat with your chatbot here at this website now it is time to integrate this with our kgp talkie website so what you have to do here you have to come to your website i have come to the kgp talkie website i have here oh uh, you know wordpress website so here is the iframe basically so this is the iframe which i have prepared here in the iframe you get here a source in this particular source you need to put that id all right so this particular id you just simply copy from that url basically so that url you copy from there and you just paste this url here thereafter save the changes and once you save the changes let's go ahead and purge all the cache system and i have purged all the cache system all right perfect and thereafter you come to the kgptalkie.com as you see here there is no chatbot but after after the reload we should be able to see here the chatbot now you might be asking that what is the iframe and how to add that all these things i have shown here at my openai agent builder repository inside this q a chatbot you will be having the sample of the iframe here so there is the sample of the iframe and the q a prompt sample is also given here as you click on here you can see here everything here so here is the link which you have to add let me just quickly show you here where is that link yeah here it is all right so src inside this you have to provide your chatbot link as soon as you refresh this you can see your chatbot as you click here you can see your chatbot there let's go ahead and ask the question here i'm going to ask here that what type of tutorial would you suggest me 
for good ml engineer perfect as you see here it is actually fetching the data from our website itself congratulations you have successfully deployed openai agent builder chatbot to your website and it is currently running here live it is still thinking and generating the answer and i'm sure if you have met this so far then i hope that you have liked this particular video please do not forget to subscribe this channel as well and if you want to learn this whole process step by step then there is a dedicated udemy course you can come and uh, enroll in this particular course master openai agent builder deploy chatbot to your website i have shown here how you can deploy this chatbot to your website in various ways using the aws systems rds system i have also shown you here that how you can make order status and the recommender system how you can make a customer support agent kind of the things all these things i have shown in this particular course the link of this course is also given here in this particular repository as you scroll it down here if you see the readme file then in the readme file i have provided the link for all of my courses as you see here you can enroll in all of these courses so these courses are available at the best price currently being offered in your particular country all right let's go ahead and come back to the kgp talkie and see the answer here so this is the answer here are the suggested type of the tutorial and it has also provided here the link if you click on the link you will see here that you are able to see the link directly all right so it has provided these references in the form of the link as well as you see that it is working successfully it is working here successfully congratulations you have deployed your chatbot in the production all right bye bye take care